Hello everybody, Ragtag Savvy here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we started exploring Route 218. And now it's time to head into Candlelight. Donnie, long time no see. Oh, you look so puzzled. You're wondering who I am? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. The professor asked, asked that I upgrade your Pokedex. You see, so I've chosen this spot on a hunch that you would pass through. Donnie, may I have, a, have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, what was I supposed to put in the software in here? Hmm, looks like your Pokedex doesn't need upgrading. It already lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. Technology sure has improved lately. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on, on with your project for the professor. May I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic. The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilee City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Jeez, I sure am thirsty. I believe that's a reference to Gen 1 with the thirsty guard. What's up? Your clothes look damp. Were you swimming out of the beach right at right by Sanjin Town? I hear there's a man who is very forgetful here in Candlelight City. He even makes Pokemon forget their moves. Somewhere beyond the sea, there are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. Hello trainer, there's some things I found. They were mixed in with a load of cargo from another country. I can't use them, so I think you should take them. We get TM's 48s. You know Pokemon have their own abilities. Well, the move skill swap exchanges the user ability with that of the target Pokemon. Use your skill swap as is a measure of your experience as a trainer. That reminds me of TM's. I should probably teach Marf. Let me see. Where is it? Drain Punch. Let's give you access to Drain Punch. Do do do. Candlelight City Cargo Port. Alright, what's in the shops here? Let's see, you got Ultra Balls, Quick Balls, Timers, and Repeats. Might grab like five repeats. A Pokeball that makes it easier to catch the same kinds of Pokemon. Well, that's the Repeat Ball. I wonder what I should buy for the outing to Iron Island. Right, what's the next building? Oh, uh, who did you say I was again? Oh, yes, I remember now. I'm the move deleter. You've come to make, make me force a Pokemon to forget some moves? No. Remember me if there are moves that need to be forgotten. So he can make Pokemon forget certain moves if you want. Welcome to Candlelight City, the Carnal City. In the old days, the port used to be a hub for cargo transportation. Harbor Inn, the text is too faded to read. So we can't do anything with this building yet. My Psyduck is very smart. It can use the move Future Sight. Same kinds of Pokemon can sometimes have different abilities. Maybe I ought to raise two with different abilities. I can't use the hidden move strength for my for my Poketch until I beat the gym leader Brian. That's us heal on up. Down here at the Pokemon Center now. A bit of warning! Make sure you're fully prepared before you start crossing this bridge. Because the moment you do... Whoops! 
Hey there, Donnie. You're, go you're going to challenge the gym leader up ahead, eh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. And that someone is me with my brand new gym badge. Yep, as soon as you try to cross the bridge, Barry will ambush you. So here comes the Star Radia. We'll start with Newton. So Star Ravia, level 32, with the ability Intimidate. So it's going to lower our attack. With the moves Quick Attack, Double Team, Endeavor, and Pluck, it is also holding on to a Quick Claw, so it could potentially go first regardless of speed priority. Like right now! Sap that bird out of the sky. Sondoku grew level 42. I wasn't realize I forgot Sondoku was at level 41. Oops. Ooh, you're about to bring out Heracross. Uh, good time for Sondoku to join the battle. Heracross, level 32, Bugs of Fighting with the ability Swarm. With the moves Leer, Aerial Ace, Brick Break, and Feet, it is not holding on to any items. Down goes his bug. Spectre Agree, level 43. Gonna bring out his Bleasel. Let's bring out Icrasil. Bleasel, level 33, pure water type with the ability Swift Swim. With the moves Tail Whip, Bite, Swift, and Brine, it is also holding on to a sea incense so its water moves will be stronger. Down goes his boy. Oh, he's already bringing out his ace. Um, let me see. Let's bring out mana. So here comes his Mufferno, level 30, uh, 37. With the moves, uh, Fires of Fighting with the ability Blaze. With the moves, Mock Punch, Power Up Punch, Flame Wheel, and Shadow Claw. It is also holding onto a shell bell so it will heal after attacking. Now goes his Mufferno, so time for his last Pokemon. gonna be Roselia. Let's bring out Sandoku. We got out of tire spaces in this plenty of times. So it's Roselia. Oh, level 34. Grass sub poison with the ability poison point. With the booze, Poison Sting, Sweet Scent, and Giga Drain and Grass Knot, it is also holding on to a big root. And down goes his Roselia, and of course it manages to poison us just as it's going down.
What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me, as usual, but listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take Egg on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right, it's going to be me. Anyway, you should be able to take on the gym leader here. Now hurry up and get to it. Alright, let's put... Mana in front. Take her out for a walk. The Candlelive Library. Let's take a look, as Cynthia did say we should read some of the books here. Hello, this is the Candlelive Library. Please keep quiet while, on the pr while you're on the premises. What is this? Please don't disturb me when I'm reading. My books. So there are some books you can read here. You check some of the bookshelves. Let's forget if there's anything you can read on this floor. Line with books. Line with books. Book on the third floor is easy to read. The ones down here are all too tough for me to understand. The book is titled The Seed Legend. It is a text that had only recently been discovered and its ancient letters were decoded. Would you like to read it? Why yes, this book was not in the original Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. This was added in Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond. Which is important you read this book, because this book actually tells you what you need to do for a for one of the side quests in Legends Arceus. So it's also a Legends Arceus tie-in. Once upon a time in the Eastern Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked the Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the Prince. Mangtyke, Bleasel, and a Quillfish with large spikes. Nikes, as we now know, is Overquill. Oh, acknowledged the human's bravery and joined them. Together, they set off in a boat over the sunset edge streaking sea, sailing through the ocean gate, stretch over the waves. News of this reached the ears of the prince, who went to meet the brave little party at the seaside hollow. So yeah, that is a very important book you need to read, because otherwise you don't know how to do that quest in Legends Arceus. Please refrain from bringing food or beverages into the library. I don't know what library prevents you from bringing in food. Some t someone's always checked out the book I want to read. This book is titled Sinnoh Myths. Would you like to read it? Sinnoh Myth. Beyond not let your anger at least, huh, will come. Weep not uh, with sorrow or, huh, will draw near. When joy and entertainment comes as a natural, natural as the very air that is happiness. Let it be blessed by the hands of Master Uh? It was a custom to speak these words. The book titled Sinnoh Region Mythology. Sinnoh Region Mythology. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans lived separate lives. That is not to say they did not help each other, no, they indeed they did. They supplemented each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. It is asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans, always. Just to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into tall grass. On this floor you will find many books on myths and legends of Sinnoh region. Every book contains someone's memories of various places and times. Librarians aren't just building where our books are kept, you know. They are where different places and times are gathered together. The book titled Sino Myth. There were three Pokemon were the Into the lakes they dove, deep, 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 drawing no breath. Deeper and deeper they dove, into suffocating depths they drove. Deeper than the deepest they alight, from the lake floor they rise, bearing with them the powers to make the vast lands rise again. 
The Veilstone Myth A young man, crawled and foolish in innocence, came in to own a sword. With it, he sm he smote Pokemon sm smote smote uh, Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree ambition. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Le leaders grew bare. The young man seeking the missing Pokemon journeyed afar. Long did he search, and far and wide, until uh, one he did find. He asked, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, if you bear your sword to bring harm upon us with claws and fangs, we will exact a toll. For your kind, we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be to, gu to guard ourselves, and for it I apologize. To the skies the young men shouted in disarray. In having found the sword, I have lost so much. Gorge with its power, I grew blind to the Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again. This sword I denounce and, forsha and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I, I was but a fool. So saying, the young men hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, the Pokemon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. Titled, The Origin Story In the beginning, there was only a calming turmoil of churning turmoil of chaos. At the heart of the chaos were three beings, in, were free, where all things became one, appeared an egg. Having trembled fr from the vortex, the egg gave rise to the original one. From itself, two beings, beings the original one did make. Time started to spin, space began to expand. From itself, again, three living things the original one did make. The two beings wished, it, wished, and from the matter came to be. The three living things wished, from them spirit came to be. The world was created. The origin one took an unyielding sleep. A book titled, A Horrif Horrific Myth. Look not into the Pokemon's eyes. In but an instant, you will have no recollection of who you are. Return home, but how, when there's nothing to remember? Dare not touch the Pokemon's body. In but these short days, all motion will drain away. Above, of, above, above all, above all, harm not the Pokemon. In the set end of seven days, is... The offender will grow immobile in, in eternity. The book is titled Sinnoh O Folk Stories. Story 1 Pick clean the bones of Pokemon caught in the sea or stream. Thanks to them for the meals they provide and pick their bones clean. When their bones are as clean as they can be, set them free in the water from which they came. The Pokemon will return fully free. Fully refreshed and it began anew. I think that is a reference to Basilegion, I want to say that is. Story 2 There lived a Pokemon in the forest. In the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awaken, the human dons the Pokemon hide to roam the villages. That I think is a reference to Hasui and Sora arc. Story 3 There were once were Pokemon that were very close to humans. They were once humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. It was as a time when and there exist no differences to distinguish the two. Interesting. Well, I think we've read all the books that we can read here in the library. Let's see what up. So that's the gym. We won't be taking it on just quite yet. I'm going to study at the library. Aren't books just so lovely? I love how reading me takes me to places far away in time and space. The gym leader and trainers editors of this gym often go out to Iron Island. Not only they train their Pokemon, but work out there as well. Hello, I'm with Jubilife TV. May I hit you for a quick interview? 
thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. Please select your favorite Pokemon type. I would say one of my favorite types is Electric. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. We'll be featuring this interview in an upcoming TV program. Please do tune in and see how you look on TV. Man is trying to push. My brilliant instincts tell me that there is a secret path somewhere in the city and that there is treasure beyond that path. Well, let's take to the water and find this secret path. Behind here, we can get TM89 U turn. Stretch down and relax. That sounds adorable. Candlelight Dock. Whoa, there was actually something there? I mean, my instincts was about, uh, uh, about my brilliant instincts were being correct turned out to be correct. There, these are my thank you gift. Get three sky stickers. I'm gonna be a sailor like my daddy. He's a real man among men. Even the sea doesn't scare him. Oh, but the gym leader would be cool too. Ryan is so awesome. This is the Pokemon Research Corner. Today we will examine a wild Pokemon living in the field. Ah, yes. Yes, here we go. A wild Krikatoon conveniently just came along. Oh, it's holding something. Let's roll on up and take a look. Hi there, can I take a look? Ayow! Ouch! It scratched my finger! But, okay. We now know that the Krikatoon own, own have the possibility of holding a metronome. Thank you, Krikatoon. Here's your metronome back. Yeah! Ow, 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 ow! It scratched me again! As usual, I got the Pokemon riled up at me. It's time for me to go. So long. Our boy has too much energy. I wish he'd be a little quieter. Be careful what you wish for. The Sailor Eglorid's house. Well, I think we're done here. So I think in the next episode, we might get on a boat and check out this Iron Island. If you enjoyed this episode, do you like the videos? It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later!